Hello and welcome everyone. I am Madeline Kuhn. You might know me as Maddie. I am a homemade coach and nutritionist and I am joined here today by Greta. She is one of our longtime members, joined back in April of 2021. And we'll be doing a little testimonial interview with her today. Thank you so much for joining us, Greta. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm looking forward to our talk. Yeah, my goodness, me too. So I would love to start this conversation by asking you, what was your health and weight before starting Homemade Method? Okay, so when I came into Homemade Method, I was also in the process of receiving some serious health care for breast cancer. So that sticks in my mind as the most pivotal health issue I'd ever had other than being overweight. And so when I joined Homemade, I was still getting treated and getting on oncological care. And um, now, 10 years later, from the first time I was diagnosed, I am cancer-free and out to party. Yes. Yes. And, uh, yes. So, uh, but my other health issues, I, even the being overweight had to have had some impact on my issue with breast cancer, I do believe, but they never said definitely. Um, so I, I've been overweight for, oh, probably the last, um, 20 years. But before that, I was athletic and I didn't have a problem. But, that, you know, as I got older, I got heavier and more tired and didn't exercise and ate all the wrong places in the car yeah. between all my jobs and all of that. So uh, that's where I was at. And uh, I'm married to someone who I hate because he is unable to be fat. He eats normally and he's skinny. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I think a well, lot of ladies him. can relate to that. In the program. <laughs> hate him and love him. And he eats <laughs> nonstop. Yes. So, uh, but he's very healthy. He's athletic. And now I'm athletic now that I can move without hurting myself. So, yeah. um, yes. So that's, uh, kind of the biggest problem I had was with the breast cancer with being heavy and I'm too heavy to exercise comfortably or safely. Yeah, uh, worried about falling and things like that, tripping for, because of balance. So mm -hmm. those are no longer issues. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of where I was uh, and getting that's all kinds of warnings from my doctors, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. Well, it's so scary. To, I'm so grateful that you are now cancer free. But it's, what a what a scary um, life event to happen. I think that yes. some of the other ladies in the program or anyone right that has gone through that is it's a big wake up call for your health in general. Yes. To just be like, okay, the things I can control, I am now going to put time and energy into because this, you know, like cancer is not really in, it's not really in your control. There's so many different factors. So yes, I'm so grateful that you found us. Um, I know that you have been a long time instrumental music teacher. You are an educator. It's a, it's a hefty job. Oh, you get stretched thin. And so your eating habits can be really challenging to maintain, right? It's hard to create eating, eating healthy, healthy eating habits when you are constantly so busy and your work is nonstop and like probably spills out of your working hours, right? You're taking oh, yeah. care of kids and you're not just a teacher. You are like an ear for so many, so much more than just their music. Um, and so what other health issues were you facing besides breast cancer during this, during this time and well, prior to joining? Yes. Um, even with my job, uh, mobility was just a concern. You know, I, I was aware that I would lose my balance sometimes um, just from my weight or yeah. going up the stairs and not picking my feet up and those kind of things. So uh, I was self-conscious about, you know, moving safely. Yeah. So, Definitely. yeah. And the, the, the worst habit I developed among many uh, was eating in the car, which I never do now. I refused. I only drink water in the car. Yeah. Because eating That's in the right. car, you just eat. Yeah. It's and hard. It's hard to listen to your body when you're doing that. Yes. Yes. When yeah. you're driving. You, yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, what was your blood pressure and uh, blood sugars like back in this, during this time? Um, uh, probably borderline high, 
high enough. I, I can't remember the numbers now without looking oh, back at okay. my health records, but um, not to a point where I ever felt a reaction to my blood pressure. But every time I did go in for a medical exam, they'd say, oh, your pressure's high. And then they'd always say, but you drove here and everyone's pressure goes up when they, when they drive. <laughs> So then I didn't worry. And then yeah, when it went down uh, appreciably, and I, I can't think of a good number now that, that's below any uh, flashing lights, you know, but it was just normal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. my, my doctor danced with me in the office. Yes. She was so excited. Oh. She, and she couldn't believe how I looked because I had yes. also been with the program a year. And yeah, it was a great moment. I love that dancing with your doctor in the office. How yeah. often are you able to do that, especially after dealing with so many health issues, right? Yeah. Um, that's such a beautiful moment to be able to enjoy to experience. Yes. Right? You've you've we'll get into that. You worked really yes. hard to get to there. So I'm I'm grateful you were able to have that. Yes. Um so I know you're dealing with high blood pressure, you're dealing with high A1C. Yes. You're feeling like just like lack of mobility, yes. lack of balance, um, just due to being overweight. You're probably, I mean, all those things generally equal like low energy levels. Were, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Like, were you feeling that? Definitely. But I couldn't give in to it uh, mainly because yeah. um, we were also caring for our elder parents, my husband and I. So there were other things, not in our house, but oh, I mean, yeah, frequently so had to you're a caretaker day. too. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. have time and space for that business of being tired. Yes. You're just go, go, go. Yes. Oy, yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to that, that card of being the caretaker and just being yes. like, I do not have any time to be tired. Yes. I just have to like, I'm bouncing from taking care of someone who's sicker than me to yeah. taking care of either my job or my family, whatever it is. And that's usually when your own health just keeps on getting knocked down on the priority scale. And Yes. Soon it's all the way at the bottom. <laughs> right. Well, not only that, I would eat sweet things because it made me happy. So I don't, yes. I do eat sweets now, but they're the healthy sweets, you know, but back then it would be what's chocolate. Just, you know, get me some chocolate. Anything. Yes. Yeah. And so, so you're, you're managing some of like the emotional, uh, whatever you're you're That's emotionally right. eating yeah you're dealing with some of these like highly stressful situations by eating your feelings and yes. I know that so many people can relate to that it's hard yes. it's really hard especially when you're um you know you're you don't have any sort of foundation for healthy eating it's just mm -hmm. like laying in it and with that, on that note, I'd love to chat with you about what did you try before you joined us? Because I know this is. <laughs> oh. Well, I hate to say the word try because I wasn't very uh, dedicated, but. Um, That's OK. I would try things like salads. Yeah. A salad meal, you know, with some maybe leftover mm -hmm. meat in it. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I used dressings that weren't healthy. Yeah. You no. Know, so or I would eat a lot of bread with it. Yeah. Bread. Yeah. Salad and bread, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. those were the kinds of alternatives I took. And again, everyone else in my house doesn't have weight problems. Mm. But they could eat pretty much anything. And they were so active. It, it didn't show up on them as it did on me. Yeah. So um, that, that was the problem. You know, I stopped eating all of the fattening foods like ice cream or uh, mm. sugar yogurt, you know, before mm. I heard, learned about homemade. And then when I got in homemade, that's when I really got an education. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, what, what do you feel like are some of the key things you've learned in the program? One is to use my brain. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm awake, use my mind. <laughs> yeah. You know, Eat so, mindfully. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And <laughs> I know about mindfulness because as musicians, that's part of our demeanor is yes mindfulness with every note we play and so on so this has helped a lot with uh listening to anna and all of the great counseling that we get um through the program just and even other members just hearing how people are mindful um yeah. there's one member whose name i think is nina and every time i look at her pictures they look like art mm -hmm. they look nina baker yes yeah they look too beautiful to even eat you know mm -hmm. and so 
I would have never looked at food and decided if it was beautiful or not before, because it was in my mouth before I even knew what, what I was eating. <laughs> yes. I so, love that. So you're yeah. taking this, this like thread that you've been able to pull from your music background and you've been yes. able to put it into your healthy eating habits, which is mindfulness, it's slowing down. Yes. It's taking a moment. It's making something like beautiful, what you're creating, have mm -hmm. it be creative even. And that is a way to connect with your food to create a healthy eating habit. I yeah. love that. I love that. That's one of your biggest takeaways. That's so major. Um, one of the things we really talk about in the program um, is like treating yourself, like feed yourself like you're a queen, like sit yeah. down and like really savor it. Enjoy this meal. Like you're absolutely worthy of like a beautiful nourishing meal. So like take the time that you can to put into that because you get back tenfold, whatever you put in. Right. Yes. So I love, that. I also so learned to, to not have other things going on. Like no television is on. Oh yes, absolutely. That's and uh, <laughs> Yeah. It really helps music. I, I don't mind if music's on, you know, yeah. but TV, no news, nothing just yes. food and bass, you know? Yes. Yes. Well, I think it's, yeah. Music is so different. It's something that allows you to actually, I feel like connect more Mm -hmm. to what is around you rather than TV is just coming at you yeah. and there's no there's no like um exchange whereas with yeah. music it makes you feel something it's you know we could dive into that whole topic but oh yeah we're gonna I... stay we're gonna stay on homemade method I promise <laughs> well let's talk about the amazing results you've gotten in the program I would love for you to just talk a little bit about how much weight you've lost um what your blood sugars, uh, blood pressure are at, um, and like how you're feeling. Yeah. Um, like I say, I, I since I started, I think I've lost, um, 88 pounds and pretty much kept it off except every now and then I go up a little bit and then I just realize what, am, what are you doing? And I change, change my habits and it goes back down. Um, then, uh, as I say, the sugar's have stopped being a problem. They're just not a problem anymore. I, I haven't had a doctor even say anything to me about like my blood sugar in t in almost two years. That's incredible. Just Except so, that it's good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So just for everyone, for reference point, Greta's A1C was at a seven mm -hmm. and her fasting blood sugars were at 123. And, you know, now two years, like it's been two years where you've gotten both of those numbers into normal range and it's no mm -hmm. longer even a discussion with your doctor. They right. check it. They don't have to mention it because it's not an issue. Yeah. It's just, it's not. That's major. Yeah. It's so wonderful. And you're not on any medications or anything for that. Just for, no. for everyone to, yeah. Yeah. To know. I'm so, so proud good. of you. I That's so, and 88 pounds loss. That is yeah. a whole nother like little human that's gone. Yeah. And, and it, it's amazing. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, one of the yeah. things, if I can interject here. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things was I had breathing issues and being a woodwind player, that was devastating, but I was having um, uh, like allergic type breathing, you know, where in the in the springtime, it, all the stuff in the air just really mm -hmm. made me sneeze and cough and have trouble breathing. And uh, they said even that was related to my weight. Yeah, absolutely. And um, they were getting ready to do more checking. And then in that year that I started with homemade, I lost so much weight. And they said, well, you don't need these meds anymore. Just in one visit, they said, you don't need these anymore. You're, I, I, I'm hearing your lungs. You don't need these anymore. That's amazing. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that is life-changing for everyone, anyone, but like, especially yeah. for you, whose life is built around, like you make music with with wind your, yeah with wind exactly um with the wind you produce so it's so mm -hmm. important to i'm sure you're like mind body and soul <laughs> that happens. yes, yes <laughs> yeah exactly. oh my and, gosh that's incredible. yeah i'm really grateful really grateful yeah i'm so grateful you put in you put in the time and effort to this um i also know that like obviously you lose 88 pounds like none of your clothes fit anymore you dropped you dropped yeah. dress sizes you dropped yeah. pant <laughs> sizes um you also like probably regained a lot of energy yes because yeah. um 
if, if I can add this here, um, I, both my husband and I walk every day. Well, he runs, I walk and uh, not with him <laughs> because he's six, five and I'm like five, seven or so. So, but when I do my walk, it's three miles and I don't pace myself. I just walk out to a trail and uh, I wear good shoes. And um, I, I think that has helped me sustain my energy. And it's probably has helped me keep the weight from getting higher than it got when I, when I noticed I picked up a few more pounds over the holidays. Yeah. So uh, I walk every morning and I walk today and it's, it was below freezing and Ooh. I'm out walking. Yeah. Wow, and girl. That's amazing. How do your joints your, feel? Huh? How do your joints feel when you, when you're out walking? Um, they don't bother me so much. I have my left knee ha has an issue, but uh, mm. we're going to get that checked, but it's yeah. not debilitating. And the main thing was to make sure my feet didn't hurt, you know, yes. bad shoes. And so that's a long story, but so I'm wearing yeah. really good shoes. Uh, good. Yeah. To walk in and I make sure I have good socks and I stretch I before it. I go. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. This yeah. is amazing. And for anyone yeah. that is like, oh, I couldn't walk three miles a day. Um, it's doesn't happen overnight and like right. losing 88 pounds is a huge help, but also just like the consistency to work up to it. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, you can't, you can't run a marathon without training for it. So right. working up to things is so important. And I, I just love that you've had this consistency. It didn't happen overnight No, and over years, right. We're in yeah. 2024, January, 2024. And you joined in April of 2021. So, right. It's been a couple yeah, of years. I, You've been spending time and energy here. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how you got your results. I mm. would love to hear just like, what are you doing? Cause people are going to want to know too. They're like, what is she doing? Well, I want to lose. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I use the, the recipes uh, that I download all the time. And I, yeah. I have certain types of cooking that I do an example would be, I use the oven a lot, roasting all the veggies that I want mm, and then yes. I freeze them. And then sometimes I just eat them as the roasted vegetable. Sometimes I put them in my blender and add some chicken broth and it's soup. And it, it. it gave me so many uh, alternatives. Yes. It's also a good way to not go buy, I don't buy McDonald's, but I'm saying go out and buy fast food. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because you have something prepped on hand. Yeah. And it's tasty and it's beautiful. Yeah. And I, I we have not eaten out. Well, we did have to eat out one time when our kids came to visit, uh, but we don't eat out because we don't like the taste of the food when we eat out. Yes. And we nice restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. But I like how we season our foods at home, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, very pleased with it. And the only reason I would go to a restaurant now is if you said, hey, let's meet up somewhere. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Dinner with I Greta. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's it's so real how your your um, palate changes just yes. tremendously once you start to cut out refined foods and yes. really yes. cut down on the processed sugar. It's just like food pops like in like whole mm -hmm. natural foods the flavors just pop and the sweet and the savory the natural flavors the bitter the sour the umami flavors that come from things. yeah like those all really start to sing um and just it's it provides you with a whole different understanding of like what tastes good because there's nothing dulling your sense senses which is what happens mm -hmm. with processed food so I love that you're cooking all your meals at home. Yeah. Um, and you're just, that's, that's what you're doing. What about mindset? How is your mindset? Shifted? Oh, yeah. Um, how can I say this? Um, I think it matters to eat at a planned time. Most of the time, unless there's a important reason that you couldn't eat. So I don't eat randomly. Yeah. I eat breakfast. With a, which is a smoothie. We have a smoothie every morning. It's got beets and kale and a little that. pineapple and a little honey in it. Um, I don't own any sugar in my house. There is no wow. sugar in my house because I don't yeah. drink coffee. And anyone that comes yeah. and wants it, they better bring their own sugar because I don't have it. <laughs> or use my honey. Yes. And, um, yeah. So that's kind of what it's like. And when, I, when we shop, um, there are some things we look for 
in the, the big stores, you know, like Costco, where you can get bargains, but I can't deal with their whole foods. So I buy my whole foods at my favorite grocery store, which is near my house. And um, every time I walk into the, the produce department, the guys come over and talk to me. They go, hey, come here, look at this and try this. And oh. yeah, we have a little party when we get in there, you know, because that's so they sweet. Know. Yeah, yeah, they, they know they eat my yeah. Yeah. Your, your food, like the whole natural produce, the ingredients that they're so pumped to like provide you or something right, that yes. you're equally excited to explore and, and in your kitchen. That's so amazing. I love that. I and feel I, like I, I also have... go ahead. Oh, I also had a funny thing happen last night. I made, I made some turkey burgers. Cool. Well, the funny thing was, I didn't mention it to my husband that it was turkey, you know, so, um, this morning, this afternoon, when he was getting lunch, he said, I think I'll have one of those hamburgers for lunch. <laughs> I, I didn't even tell him it was turkey. <laughs> You're like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. But I yeah. see it like, like, a, like a hamburger, you know. So. Yes. I it was so that. funny. That's great. That's so great. When, yeah, he doesn't so, know, when he doesn't know, we'll hurt him. That's right. And it's all because of homemade. I couldn't, wouldn't have thought of that recipe for the, a turkey burger. I don't yeah. even like turkey. Yeah. You know, roast turkey, I don't eat, but... Yeah, no, I'm not a turkey fan either, but yeah. that, that meal is delicious. Chef Lizzie is an absolute yes. whiz in the kitchen. That's why. amazing. Just She's incredible. Amazing. I know. Um, well, I love that so much. You've been able to make healthy, nourishing food at home Absolutely. and you get excited over ingredients. I think that's something mm -hmm. that people don't, like they get nervous about because they have this obsession with like eating and with losing weight. And it's like, if they shift their mindset and like with our support, obviously it's yes. very hard to do on your own, but it, once you are able to shift your mindset towards like, I get to nourish my body with these beautiful ingredients. I'm going to get excited about this. I'm going to make this like a hobby of mine, something I get to look mm -hmm. forward to because when I do this, I feel good. And so I think that shift of like, I have to lose weight to like, I'm going to nourish my body. I'm going to eat these beautiful ingredients. It's going to taste delicious. I'm going to feel amazing after is something that is so profound and something that's missing from a lot of like healthy eating programs or diets in general. And I, I think agree. that's something you've really been able to embody in, in your journey with us is just like, you're excited. You're in the members oh, yeah. only group pumping up other people cooking fun things. You're exploring recipes for yourself you're serving turkey burgers to your husband and he's not even noticing that it's not beef um disclaimer beef's in a lot of our recipes or some of right. our recipes but you can yeah. and you can still totally enjoy it but there's also different ways to like enjoy other things which maybe is a little bit leaner or like has a little hidden veggie in it it's all about yes. making making healthy food nourishing with and palatable and delicious so um, I love that. I love that so much. What about the last thing I want to touch on um, is just like how is you've really been able to harness nourishing for your body, and that's helped you lose weight. How has eating for satisfaction played into this for you? Oh, I can taste things. <laughs> See, because yeah. when, when you eat, when I, when we ate prepared food in the public, the seasoning was more what you could taste than the texture of the food even mm -hmm. and especially fast food then yes. if you went to a nicer place yeah you could taste a little more of the texture but now it's just amazing i mean the what the, the different things that i've learned to do using the homemade recipes uh, to make soup that doesn't yeah. look like it came out of a can yeah you know and using my blender to to Pow, pow down some beans, throw them back in the bean soup so that it's thicker and, yeah, you know, chop up an onion till you don't know it's an onion and those kind of things. So we do a lot of that. It. And yeah, we just, we just play and party and I and love it. All good. And the food is super satisfying and that's why yes. you're enjoying it. Yeah. And the I other big thing that. is the freezing, you know, caring for the food that we did one time a uh, cautionary tale, we accidentally made ourselves sick one time because I had made some pork chops, put them in the top shelf of the freezer where I put the meat so he can see it because he's tall. And um, he kept pushing him back and pushing him back. So finally he ate them and it, they had been up there too long. And I ate some oh. and we both got sick and, uh -oh. you know, 
realize you can't, you have to put it in the freezer. You can't just. Yes. So that's made us about back to mindfulness. That's made us more mindful. And so I'll put a mm. sticker on there and we'll put the date and then, Perfect. you know, I love that. If you're not going to eat it tomorrow, put it in the freezer. We can thaw it. Yeah. yeah. I love so that. That was that's incredible. Serious. Yeah. That was not a good day. So oh, it's so tough. Oh my goodness. I think we've all had that. Um, yes. but I love that you, you, you know, you have a little hiccup and you're like, well, let's just get back to it. Here's our plan moving yes. forward. Yes. That's amazing. Well, Greta, you are so incredible. Your, your story is like so inspiring. I love that you have like stuck with this, right? It's not just oh. an overnight thing. And something that I think you mentioned earlier, which is so important is like, Yes, you've lost 88 pounds so far here with us, but like it's, you know, it comes in little waves and there are times when your pants feel a little tighter and you see the numbers mm -hmm. go up on the scale a little bit. And that's not the time to be like, this isn't working. It's the time oh, yeah. to look at what you're doing, what you do and yes. say, hmm, how can I to like fine tune this just a little bit so I get back to my healthy eating habits that have been working for me for the past couple of years. And you just yes. fine tune it just a little. It doesn't need to be an overhaul. It's yes. just a little bit. And that's exactly what gets you right back into on track and yes. back to where your comfort zone is. Um, this is like something that all of us do, like as coaches in the mm -hmm. program, Anna too, happens to all of us, right? We all enjoy oh. ourselves. Like there are times when sometimes my pants are too tight and you're like, sit there and like, what am I, what have I been yeah, doing? Yeah. What yeah. have I been doing? And I realized, oh my goodness, I've been eating a lot of cookies with my daughter and well, it's time yeah. to buckle that up, both of us. So uh, I love that you mentioned that because I think it's, it's really realistic, right? Life, life happens. Holidays happen. Yes. People come to visit. You go, to, you go on adventures, yeah. you go on vacation. There's so many different things that get tossed our way. And it doesn't mean that we need to throw in the towel or that we're bad or that, you know, anything's wrong with us. It's just, you're enjoying life and you can always get back to it with your next meal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. you, you guys just, you know, I am just so grateful because had I not found you, I, I don't know that I'd still be here today because I wasn't <sighs> changing. Yeah. You know, I wasn't changing. And oh my goodness. everything was just providential. It was just like, bam, yeah. there it is. Yeah. And I never would have thought I'd join a group like this. Yeah, just I didn't have the time. I thought I didn't have the time to interact. You know, yeah, I'm always online zooming or teaching. But Lord have mercy, this has been just. It's like you're my family. You you are my family. You know, you that just makes are me so happy. Yeah. Well, we're so proud of you. You're incredible. Your energy in the group is awesome. You're so positive. Um, I was looking back at some of your pictures to the past <laughs> couple of years of like. Just like incredible, like you like totally reorganized your kitchen when you first yeah. joined to make it like conducive to you cooking healthy food. And I love that you, like you did that, you committed. You're like, no, yeah. I'm doing this. And like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to be cooking a lot. Let's be realistic. Like mm -hmm. the way that I'm going to heal my body is through cooking, nourishing food and eating and mindfully. And so if I'm going to do that, I have to set myself up for success. And you did that. You, you, I like, I, will, <laughs> I would love to share all those pictures. We don't have time right now, but I encourage people yeah. to check you out on Facebook. Check them look out, at yeah. the pictures. Yeah. Look at the pictures you're posting of like your kitchen that looks so inviting. It's welcoming. It's useful. Everything that you need is like an arm's reach. You don't have like something like a blender, which you're going to be using every day, like up and out of the way. Like it's right there. Right, it's right you there. Just, yeah. you, and so that kind of preparation, I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily think about right off the bat they're like well let me just like buy ingredients it's like it's so much more than that it's like yes getting it's making sure their kitchen is set up for success yeah even with the smoothies you know I my if you looked in my freezer right now I, all my stuff is in there frozen all the yeah. things I use all the time and I love it. when they start running low uh, you know how grocery prices go up and down I Ugh. try to catch them when they're lower yes. especially things that like the beets or things like that that I use all yeah. the time you know, so yeah, yeah. Mm, I'm just grateful. It. And I couldn't, I would have never eaten a beat that I could recognize had it not been for you guys. <laughs> you know, that's actually pretty common. <laughs> I have a lot of ladies like that are, you've been with us for a year or two and like, I actually like beets and like, did not like them before. Like you I, could not have 
talked me into this right. and you did. So um, I love that. That's incredible. Yeah. They're incredible for lowering blood pressure. So I'm so happy that yeah. that's part of your regular routine now. It's great. No, no, every day, every morning. That's my, oh. that's my smoothie. Yeah. Yes. You're amazing. Well, Greta, mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time and energy. I'm so grateful you. for you. And we are at the end of our sweet little interview. Well, I appreciate you so much. Oh, I appreciate you, Greta. Thank you.